All right, so we've got our sweep in, and there's a couple of things that need to be adjusted. Um, one being is that there's a big hole right here because this um, profile is running perpendicular to this line and it doesn't finish off. So if I go to my level two, you can see there's a hole there. If I go back to my 3D view, you can also see that possibly I think it might be okay. We'll just worry about that hole. Um, you should go in and determine whether the profile of the seat works with the section and adjust it as needed. So to adjust the, um, the extent of this guy, we want to go in and edit this family and then edit the sweep. So the first thing you want to do is pick the family, go to edit in place, and then we've got to pick the sweep and we want to edit the sweep and what we want to do is pull that path out further so we need to go back to pick path in order to access that path once it turns magenta we can left click on it and pull that line out and we just want to pull it out you know past where when that profile is perpendicular that it passes that edge so i could pull it back to about right there and once we do that, we can hit the check and the check. And now if I go to my 3D view, you'll see that that guy is actually shooting through the wall. Now we're going to use a void to clip that guy. Uh, you may remember using the void um, to cut holes in the wall. And so we're going to use that same process within this family. So we're going to do it inside the, the in-place family, right? So we're in the in-place editor. All you need to do is actually go to create, and I'm gonna to go to my level two to do this. And so I'm gonna create an extrusion that's gonna be the form work to cut this piece off at the end. So if I go to extrusion, I'm just gonna draw a line that's gonna be the void that cuts away this piece. So it just needs to be bigger than that piece. It's not going to cut anything else but the piece that we have. So right now, I'm actually drawing on reference plane R1, which I do not want to do. That's an angled reference plane. So it's always good to check that beforehand. So I'm actually going to cancel out of this and reset my reference plane. So I'm going to cancel that. And I'm going to go to create and set and I'm going to set my reference my work plane here to level 2 and click OK so now it's actually going to draw on level 2 so I'm going to go back to extrusion and start that process over again and draw the formwork that's going to cut away that overlapping piece so there's the profile for that extrusion it's going to start at 500, or sorry, start at zero, which is level two, and go to 500. I actually want it to go below level two somewhat. So I'm gonna just say negative 1,000 millimeters or negative one meter. Then I'm gonna hit the big green check, and it's gonna make that extrusion. And if I go to my 3D view, you can see, let me pick that guy so it'll orbit around it. You can see it's extruded all around that object. Now we're going to do the same thing that we did to cut the holes in the walls, except we're doing it inside the family, since we created this guy inside the family. We're going to come over to Solid Void with the solid selected and change it to a void. And you'll see it'll turn orange. And now I'm going to go to Cut from this that, and it's going to clip that guy off. The last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put a material parameter on this seat because it has a default by category material on it and I'm going to add an associated family parameter with this if you remember in our previous videos with the loadable families we're basically doing the same operation but inside the project in an in-place family so a little bit uh, different uh, location but same process so I'm going to click on the associate family parameter box and I'm going to add a new parameter and I'm going to name it seat material and I'll click OK OK and I'll hit finish model 
Now I'm back out in the project. I can select everything. If I pick this piece, I can go to Edit Type, and that seat material is in there because I added it as a type parameter to my in-place family. So there's that guy, right? And I have access to that. Um, so that's the seat. So you'll need to do that for your project.